Welcome back to the Interior Design Playbook. We are in lesson eight of module two, all about best practices for your design documentation. I'm Meg, I'm an interior designer based in the United States. And today we're diving into one of the most powerful tools early on in your design process, the mood board. Now you've probably seen mood boards online. Think like those collages full of aesthetic images, but in a professional setting, they are so much more than that. Mood boards are a strategic communication tool that can clarify your design direction, align your team, and win client approval. In this lesson, I will walk you through the five steps that I use to create mood boards within Rayon Design, the web-based tool that we've been using throughout this entire course that helps us move faster and smarter. With Rayon, you can copy and paste images directly into your canvas, use AI to remove backgrounds or upscale low resolution images, and seamlessly link your boards to your drawings, your ff &E selections, and presentations all in one place. But don't just watch me do it, try it out for yourself. Book a free one-on-one -on -one demo with the Rayon team and see how quickly you can build your own mood board workflow. The link is just right down below in the description. Don't forget to download the free mood board template before we dive in. Let's get into it. If you have ever looked up a mood board, whether it's in Google, Pinterest, social media, you've probably just seen a cluttered collage of random images, but in a professional design, a mood board isn't just decoration. It can actually be like a strategic tool that should always serve a clear purpose. I use two different types of mood boards in my interior design workflow. So one of these types of mood boards is just a conceptual mood board, right? So we just capture the overall vibe of the project, think lifestyle images, textures, palettes. Um, it's perfect for early stage alignment. But then I also will do project specific collages. So this is where we bring together real world materials, finishes, furniture, fixtures, everything that's actually gonna be used. So this is ideal for the stage of the project when you are looking for approvals, design coordination, that kind of thing. So as just a little tip, I recommend that you start with the conceptual board just to kind of like gauge your client's interest and then transition to the detailed board once direction is locked in. So you can see here that I've just typed in mood board on Pinterest and we get all kinds of different looking things, but I wanna show you how we can actually put some of these images together to make a professional mood board in Rayon. So let's just start by looking for um, a chair. We're just gonna type in chair and we're just gonna copy this image into our Rayon file. So once you find something that you like, um, let's just click on this right here. We are going to just click on whichever image we want. Um, I'll just click this like whitish colored one and I'm just going to right click on this image and say copy image. And then we will head back over to our Rayon Design canvas. I am working in our Millwork Shop Drawings canvas. So if we go to our presentation here, you can see we've got our mood boards, not only just like our collage mood board, but also our like floor plan mood board in our presentation sheet. But these drawings actually live on the Millwork Shop Drawings, or at least this drawing does. So let's just go ahead and in our model canvas over here, we're just going to right click and paste that image that we just copied from the website. And we want to use AI to remove this background. So instead of having to go in other tools like Photoshop or something, we can just do that right in here. And um, once you are clicked onto your image, you can just go to edit image and then we will just say remove background and it's going to do all the work for us. Um, if it's a really low resolution image, you can also upscale it as well. So you can see that that cleanly removed the background and then we'll just hit done. And now you can see that if we kind of resize this and move it, we can easily just stack that on top of other items here. And so you can get a really nice mood board going. Now, if we wanted to, we could also select that image and go to edit. And this is where you can also add like a URL to whichever image you've dropped in as well. So we could just add in a property and just say like URL, and then you would type in your URL there, and then that's going to save that there. So then that way we can easily access that again if we need to. Now, mood boards can get really chaotic fast, so curation is really key. Um, it's not about adding every single thing that you'd like, it's just about editing it with purpose. So here are a few things that I would recommend including on your mood board. So you wanna have about one to five contextual images, either um, you can see here we've got like an actual room image, which is our like concept, but then we've also got some actual products kind of stacked on top of it. So the room image just kind of like grounds your concept. And then you wanna have some product callouts, some color swatches, real textures and material photos, and then direct product links to keep your specs traceable. So just like we just added that property, if you have specific products, that's how you can kind of like track those. Now, everything else that I just mentioned, like the materials, the colors, that can all just be added in by adding in a shape and then adding in a fill. 
So as we've done with a couple of other lessons here where you just kind of like will add your circle or your shape and then you'll add your fill. Um, you can either make it a specific color, you can type in your hex code, or you can upload an image over here into that shape. Now, just a little tip to stay organized. Um, I recommend using a separate rayon canvas as a staging area to sort your visuals by theme. So this way you can kind of copy your images directly from Pinterest or your browser and paste them into rayon, kind of keep those in their own little boneyard and then bring them over to your canvas if you want to. You can also easily obviously add text as well as leaders um, if you want to call out specific um, items or manufacturers or anything like that. Um, very similar, like all the same tools that we've already talked about, just using them in a different way. Now, another way to tackle a mood board is like I was showing you here on our presentation sheet, how we kind of have it side by side with our floor plan. So a mood board by itself can feel disconnected sometimes. So to really communicate intent, you can just kind of link it directly to your architectural drawings and your FF and E selections. So in this way, you would just be placing multiple different views on this presentation canvas. So you'd have your floor plans, your cabinetry details, room elevations, anything that maybe helps communicate that design really clearly. And then additionally, you'd have images, product selections, lighting fixtures, anything like that. So this would be like more of a room specific mood board. And in this way, we're able to align visual direction with the spatial function. So just as a pro tip, um, the images that you gather now can save you hours later when you're building your FF&E schedule. By the way, if you want to check out our full FF&E lesson, um, you can see that in the next video in this course. Now, next up, we want to make this mood board collaborative. So. As we have done before, we can invite a team member into the model, um, just clicking the share button up here. So if you click the share button, and then here you can add them with their email. You can call them either an editor or an admin or just a viewer. Um, you can also generate that public link here by toggling this on and hitting copy. But if we go back to adding someone in here with their email, you can actually tag people in a comment and leave visual notes directly on the board with annotations. So I can just go down here and hit comment. And then if I have a comment on something in this mood board, like maybe I don't like the table, I can just say, don't like and then hit post. And then anyone who is a collaborator on here is going to be able to see that comment. Now, additionally down here in these tools, I can grab the annotate, which means that I can actually draw right on this canvas. So, you know, if there's something that we do or do not like, we could just kind of like exit out. And that's just another way to collaborate and um, build alignment early on and reduce friction later. You don't need to deal with any like email chains, PDF confusion, nothing like that. Now, one final step is converting this finish board into a template. We don't need to reinvent the wheel every time, right? The whole purpose of this course is to get that reusable framework. So we're setting ourselves up for success in the beginning, and then we are able to come back and reuse all that hard work that we've done again and again, and not have to repeat that. Systemizing your mood board workflow will save you time and keep your styles consistent across projects. So what you can do is you can create these reusable board templates. So maybe one for conceptual, one for project specific boards and the way that I would do that is to just kind of like set up yourself with different shapes. And then if you are going to use this on another project, you already kind of have this whole board set up for yourself. You can just kind of like replace these images in these different shapes or replace these conceptual images easily over here in your fills. So if you want to do that, you can go to the share button here and just go to either template and publish as a template, or you can go to presentation and use Rayon's presentation publishing tools to export or share professional branded results with just one click. And as we have gathered in this course, you can systemize your entire interior design workflow with Rayon, not just your mood boards, right? You're able to create a personalized block library, style library, drawing layouts, FF&E tables, and so much more. And that wraps up our mood board lesson. By now you have seen how mood boards can be a powerful tool to define your design direction, communicate with clarity, and streamline the rest of your workflow. From early concept to client approval, mood boards are the visual backbone of your interior design process. And with Rayon, creating and sharing them is faster, easier, and more collaborative than ever. Make sure to download the free template and try creating boards for your current or next project. And whenever you're ready, head over to our next lesson where I'll be sharing some of my millwork tips and drawings for you to customize and streamline 
online shop drawings with. Feel free to book a demo call with the Rayon team right in the description below. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like this video if you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video where we'll get into how to go from 2D to 3D and extract isometric views using Rayon's new SketchUp plugin. Stay tuned. Thank you.